Hello and welcome back to the video series on ISO 27001. Through this video, let us make an endeavor to understand the clause number 5 and specifically clause 5.1. Clause 5, leadership. 5.1, leadership and commitment. Before we start with understanding the clause 5, you must realize that ISO 27001 in specific and all other ISO standards lay a lot of emphasis on the involvement of leadership and as implementation professionals or as auditors, we will have to focus a lot on the clause 5 and the subsequent subclauses. The implementation of standards shall always be a top-down approach. Unless there is fair amount of leadership direction and commitment, the implementation of the standard will not be able to achieve its intended outcome. Let's read the clause first and then understand the components of the same. 5.1, leadership and commitment. Top management shall demonstrate leadership and commitment with respect to information security management system by A, ensuring the IS policy and IS objectives are established and are compatible with the strategic direction of the organization. B, ensuring the integration of the ISMS requirements into organizational processes. C, ensuring that resources needed for information security management system are available. D, communicating the importance of information security management and of conforming to the ISMS requirements. E, ensuring that the information security management system achieve its intended outcomes. F, directing and supporting persons to contribute to the effectiveness of the ISMS. G, promoting continual improvement. And H, supporting other relevant management roles to demonstrate their leadership as it applies to their areas of responsibility. So like I was mentioning earlier, one of the very important constituents of success for all ISO standards shall be leadership and its commitment. And through this clause from sections A to H, the standard is mandating that you take these eight and any other activities to ensure that leadership is involved in the overall information security management implementation and its subsequent maintenance. Through A, it seeks the involvement of leadership in creation of the information security policy and information security objectives, which should be compatible with the strategic direction of the organization. B, ensuring that all ISMS requirements are built into, are integrated with the existing organizational processes. We must realize that we cannot look at information security controls and processes in silo. For ISMS to work well, it is extremely important for the organization to integrate the information security requirements into organizational processes. So right from your HR processes to your project management processes to operations management, business continuity management, all these processes will have to build information security processes as a part of that system. And it is the leadership's job to ensure such integration. Ensuring that resources needed for the information security management system are available. Identification and provisioning of resources as needed for smooth functioning of the information security management system is an essential element of success of information security. And hence, identification and provisioning will have to be built into the system and leadership must be involved in such activities. Making resources required for information security available will be a very important aspect of demonstration of leadership commitment. Processes will not yield the kind of result we are looking from them unless the requisite resources have been provisioned for. And provisioning can only follow if 
such resource identification has been done adequately. D. In order, in order to ensure that information security management system is effective in the organization and that people conform to the requirements of information security management system, the leadership must communicate with its people about the importance of information security and on the importance of conforming to the laid down policies, procedures as built in the ISMS systems as built as a part of the information security requirements. Maybe a periodic emailer going from the top management about the importance of information security and building disciplinary processes uh, to ensure that people conform to the requirements of information security management system requirements could be demonstration of leadership involvement and commitment. E, in order to ensure that information security management system achieve its intended outcome, several constituents of the information security will have to be built into the system. People will have to be told about what they have to do. People will have to ensure that they are. One important part of leadership demonstration and commitment shall be as mentioned in section e that leadership must be involved in achievement of the intended outcome of information security so whatever objectives you've mentioned as a part of your information security objectives and other isms requirements leadership must be involved such that information security objectives are being achieved by the organization and this could be facilitated by provisioning of resources, looking at audit outcomes, building processes that people are looking at, uh, ensuring conformity to IS requirements, communication from uh, the top management about the information, uh, about the importance of in, about the importance of effective information security management, ensuring that information security management system is integrated with organizational uh, processes. All of this built into the system will help the organization achieve the intended outcome of information security. And this shall also be a very important demonstrable evidence of information security driven by leadership and showcasing of their commitment towards the same. F, directing and supporting persons F, F, directing and supporting persons to contribute to the effectiveness of the information security management system. People will play a key role in the ISMS implementation and its upkeep. So leadership must be involved in directing and supporting people to contribute to the effectiveness of information security management system right from assignment and communication of people's roles and responsibilities to helping people get better results and deliver intended outcome from the information security management system will be a key role from the leadership perspective. G, promoting continual improvement. The top management shall have to be involved in promoting continual improvement of the information security management system. This could be done by adequate resource provisioning, both human and otherwise, that could ensure better results from information security processes. Several other aspects of information security will have to be looked at to be able to ensure that continual improvement is promoted as a part of the ISMS uh, in the company. H.
the leadership will also have to render its support to other relevant management roles to demonstrate that their leadership in their area of responsibility. So whatever areas in the organization is being managed by the leadership, by the management, other supporting roles as leaders of their own departments, as leader of functions, there also the leader will have to be able to demonstrate their Other management roles, other relevant management roles should also be looked at by the leadership as it applies to their area of responsibility. And this could be a good method to showcase the leadership and commitment as required by the information security management system. If you are an information security management system auditor, you must look at demonstrable evidence that the in, that the leadership of the organization has been involved in the information security management system setup and its maintenance and subsequent continual improvement and unless the top management is involved in driving information security within the organization the idea of getting the intended outcome from information security will not be achieved Hence, as an auditor, one must lay a lot of emphasis on auditing this part of the uh, ISO 27001 standard. I hope you find this video simple and easy to comprehend in your pursuit to understanding of ISO 27001-2013. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you.